I kind of been looking for a uh, romance for a while. And I mean, obviously when I'm looking for a project, I want it to be the right project and I want it to feel really right. And uh, when I first received the script, I just set my sights on it and I didn't let it go. And I was consistently asking about it all the time. And I just knew that this was going to be something really special. So I pursued it <laughs> really hard. <laughs> Amanda kind of has, has always been interested in Dawson and always thought he was really interesting. And she was always very intrigued by him um, and his story. Um, so she kind of sets up a meet a meeting where uh, she she knows that he he fixes cars so she pulls the battery off off her car and has him come over and fix it and she sets up a date she's very driven like that <laughs> but yeah and of course they fell in love i play amanda She's this really driven and exciting, passionate person. She doesn't seem like the type of person to take no for an answer. And um, she's got a lot of dreams and she's not afraid to pursue them. And I really like that about her. I haven't really had the opportunity to play a character like that yet. So uh, it was really fun to get to dive into that and experience that. Luke plays Dawson and uh, He's just so wonderful. I told him before that, you know, just he he has this persona. He's like such a cool dude, Lucas, and he's so chill. And um, he has like his little smolder, I like to say. And he, the way he plays Dawson, he um, he does this really wonderful thing with his eyes. They they just become so much bigger. Like he's just always so curious because Dawson's a really smart guy, and he's very observant. He he, would, he definitely watches the things that goes on around him and um, doesn't necessarily participate all the time. But he's always watching and he's always aware, and uh, and you can tell that Luke really paid attention to that in the script and um, and he plays Dawson in such a caring way, caring and kind. But you also see such a a loving and playful and exciting side as well. Michelle Monaghan plays uh, the present day version of me and uh, she's amazing. We, uh, we met before filming to kind of just see if we had the same views on Amanda and she had something different and I, and I did. We'd discuss it and, uh, and really just try and find like a level playing ground so we knew where to start. Um, we had thought of a couple mannerisms that we wanted to incorporate into our characters and in certain scenes. Um, and then we also knew that a lot of those mannerisms would come while we were filming. Um, for me personally, I, I realized that whenever my character was in a kind of a stressful situation, I'd play with my necklace. And so as soon as I figured that out, um, I went and text Michelle, I was like, hey, I play with my necklace, just so you know. And, uh, and she started using that when she started working, which is really, really cool. And uh, we had to make sure we, we got the accents down, or at least close. Um, yeah, she's great. I mean, there's a couple. Uh, definitely the, the whole improvisation with, between me and Luke during the during a car, the, during the car scene when he's chasing me with these greasy hands. We had so much fun doing that. And, uh, and also it was really fun doing the rain scene because the entire time Luke and I were like, we're doing a Nicholas Sparks movie. <laughs> we're kissing in the rain. <laughs> so that was cool. <laughs> Every Nicholas Sparks film does deal with, with fate and, and passion. And, and that's something that we all kind of want in life. Um, it's like a big fantasy land and I love it because it helps you, it makes you believe that, that this type of stuff can actually happen and I, and I, and I love that that's still around because it's so easy sometimes to, to fall into that idea that none of this could actually happen for you when it can. You get to look forward to a lot of, a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of excitement and uh, and a little heartbreak, but as usual. But <laughs> but for the most part, it's a lot of a lot of hope.